Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these easy crochet coasters. You can find the free written pattern on my blog and it has all the alteration instructions to make these coasters as large or as small as you want. The link is in the description bar. I've updated the written pattern to have the exact stitch counts and yarn amounts for three different sizes. Mini for coasters, midi for fruit bowls or vases, and maxi for dining table placemats. Today I'll be showing you how to make the coaster size. You will need Aran or worsted weight cotton yarn, a 5.5mm crochet hook, some scissors, and a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can easily use a safety pin or a bobby pin. The yarn I'm using is Knit Picks or We Crochet's Dishy Yarn. I highly recommend using a tightly spun cotton yarn so that your coasters are as durable as possible. One skein makes about six coasters, and we're going to be holding two strands at the same time. To begin, hold both strands and create a slip knot. Insert your crochet hook into the loop. Chain 2. We're going to single crochet into the first chain, so the chain by the slip knot. To single crochet, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Place a stitch marker in the first single crochet. We're now going to place five more single crochets into the same chain. At the end of round 1, you should have 6 single crochets, or 6 stitches in total. We're going to work the coasters in a continuous spiral, so we're not going to join the rounds together with a slip stitch. To start round 2, remove the stitch marker. Place 2 single crochets into the first stitch. Place the stitch marker back on top of the first stitch of the round. Every time you remove the stitch marker, replace the stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. Place two single crochets in each stitch until the end of the round. At the end of round 2, you should have 12 stitches. To start round 3, remove the stitch marker. Place one single crochet into the first stitch. And place the stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. Place two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat the pattern of one single crochet and then two single crochets into the next stitch until the end of the round. At the end of round 3, you should have 18 stitches. To start round 4, remove the stitch marker. Place one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. Place two single crochets into the same stitch. Don't forget to place your stitch marker in the first stitch of the round. Repeat the pattern of place one single crochet into the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the same stitch until the end of the round.
At the end of round 4, you should have 24 stitches. To start round 5, remove the stitch marker. Place two single crochets into the first stitch. Place one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Repeat the pattern of two single crochets into the same stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches until the end of the round. At the end of round 5, you should have 30 stitches in total. To start round 6, place one single crochet in the first 4 stitches. Place 2 single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern around until you have two stitches from the stitch marker. We're now going to finish off the spiral. You should have 33 stitches in total and two stitches left in the round. Slip stitch into the next two stitches. Remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into the next three stitches. At this point, your coaster should be about 10 centimeters or 4 inches wide in diameter. Again, if you want to make a larger coaster, placemat, or table mat, check out the blog post. Once you're satisfied with the width of your coaster, fasten off and leave a 5cm or 2 inch long tail of yarn. Also, you don't need to weave in your end. We'll use the tail of yarn as a part of the fringe. Flip your coaster over so that the wrong side is facing you. Cut two strands of yarn approximately 10cm or 4 inches long. Insert your crochet hook in any stitch along the edge of your coaster. Hold the ends of your strands of yarn together and place the loop over the crochet hook. Pull the loop partially through the stitch. And then pull the ends of the yarn through the loop. Pull tight to secure the fringe to the coaster. Repeat the fringe steps for every stitch along the edge of the coaster. Once you've added fringe to every stitch along the edge of the coaster, trim the fringe. You can leave your coaster as is or separate out the fringe. To separate your fringe, you can pull apart the strands of yarn with your fingers. Alternatively, you can use a fine tooth comb to brush through the ends of the yarn. It's a lot easier if you only brush through a few sections at a time. When you're finished rushing out the yarn, use scissors to trim the ends of the fringe. 
My coaster measured about 18 centimeters or 7 inches wide in diameter, but you can trim your coasters as much as you'd like. And there you have your boho crochet coaster.